feel this way forever Power in the shacks What's going on guys, Vezik here showing you finally a Formula 1 video that's sort of on time. It is the day that I usually upload, but I did have this already pre-recorded. Uh, so last time it was, I don't remember the race actually. I think we didn't get into the points. I think it was a terrible race, I can't remember. But here we are for the German Grand Prix. Uh, so we're fourth in the Drivers' Championship, I believe that said it was. We're right behind Nico Rosberg. Um... So hopefully this weekend we can do something very well, and here we are, qualifying was wet, uh, as you have probably already noticed that this is a post-record commentary over the gameplay. Um, simply, this track I'm not that great with, um, as you saw just before, I, I just, starting the flying lap I went off the uh, circuit, so this is the end of the flying lap. Um, so yeah, it, as you can see I'm just trying to control the car, slowing down as much as possible, twitching everywhere, but we finally set a lap time, not the best, a 1 minute 36, we're going around again, we're 3 seconds faster this time, we're in ninth, but it just isn't enough, even though we do 3.5 seconds faster, it just wasn't enough, so basically, I, at this stage, I sort of waited, and I knew it was going to be dry, so and here we are, 2 minutes left of qualifying, and we're going for a dry run, this is our first lap on the dry tyres, have a little bit of a lock up on the right front, nothing huge, it does damage our lap time a bit, but we're still 4.8 seconds up on our uh, personal best, we're now 12 seconds up, we've made a lot of time in sector 2 alone, and now we're 13, coming across the line, we do go into the gravel a little bit, it doesn't damage it, we're still 13 seconds, and we're now in first provisional pole, we're not sure what's going to happen, so... We hit the DRS board, we're going to do another lap, hopefully we can get even faster, but now I've got cars all around us just slowing down because there is 50 seconds left of the qualifying session. So here we have Felipe Nazar, Hamilton both getting in our way, and we missed the breaking point because of Hamilton, he was on the racing line that we needed, and that is our qualifying over. We're, at this stage we are in third, but that is going to be pushing us now to fourth. And we're going to drive into the pits, and that is qualifying finished. So there you have it, we're now 7th, and I believe we go up, I'm not sure, but we're going to start 7th. And as you can see, so many other drivers just did not do any fast laps, they're all on inters still, and so with only the top 10 were on super softs, it's crazy. But here we are for the race, and we're just going to have a little animation as we get into the race. So, what we need is to win, essentially, this weekend. We need the other cars, and thankfully that we are starting up the field compared to the, the guys that we need to worry about. Daniel Ricciardo is up there with us. I believe he got pole position, maybe. I'm not quite sure. But he's up there with us. The track is overcast but it's going to be dry it's going to be dry and that's what I need um, this Hockenheim circuit I'm not that great of Nürburgring for me is a much better circuit um, unfortunately that wasn't in this year so that's a bummer um, otherwise we need a good start we need to get the overtakes done as fast as possible and we need to win this race and as we Start to look at the lights about now, um, after this sequence. Here we are for the start of the race, we're going to skip formation that. We've got four lights, five lights, lights out and away we go. We got off to a terrible start, not the best start we've ever had. We're in six now, we got Kvyat in front of us, someone trying to go down. And there's Hulkenberg, we've got to watch out for Hulkenberg, we're going to move over here to get out of Hockenberg, he's back there, now we're going to have a look at Kvyat, can we get past Kvyat, yes we do, do we get it done, yes we do, now we're in up, we're up into fourth, we've got Carlos Sainz in front of us, we've got a, we've got a very strange uh, one, two, three at the moment, we've got a Red Bull, we've got a Williams, and we've got a Toro Rosso, something that you normally wouldn't see, especially in qualifying, so, the Mercedes in back past tenth place, it is crazy, and I don't think we actually see them the whole race, so, here we are, we're going to look at science, we're going to have a go at science, it looks like we are, we're going to go around the inside, now we're going to go down the inside, and into the corner, going around science, 
he did push us over a bit he didn't leave any room so now that's third place done on lap four we are catching up to Ri uh, Ricardo very slowly and we missed the apex we missed the breaking point we got collar signs now having a look back wheel to wheel he's just ahead but we're going to get it done as he backs out to get back onto the racing line he's still there we missed that apex completely but that's fine because color signs is still behind us still on that four was still battling off we're still trying to catch up to ricardo Color Science is still there by the way, and so this is, at this stage of the race, I was trying to keep up with the front guys, we're now on lap four, end of lap 4, and we're going into the pits, we've got to make sure we get the uh, pit limit perfect, we're slowing down, we go a bit too cautious, uh, could have been a bit better, but at this stage I realised that I was the only car coming in early, after four laps I was the only car coming in to change tyres, so... That was interesting to know that no other car so far was changing tires, but as you saw, a lot of cars are running super soft, softs, or me or myself on medium, so it is a mixed race. There's mo there's three choices of tire compounds on the racetrack right now. So we do end up behind Sebastian Vettel in 16th. He is in 15th, which was interesting, and Alonso going very slow, still on lap five, going down the inside, but we back out of that. We still got this train of cars that we are trying to get past and Alonso just was not helping at all but now we're going to have a little bit of a go on Alonso as we get this corner perfect and a bit of corner cutting actually but we get it done we get this corner pretty well spot on uh, Alonso is having to slow down because of Vettel going down the outside of uh, Alonso and we do tag it or he tags us and there's both of us stuck on the track and I need to get going as fast as possible and virtual safety car does get deployed it does make my race a bit more interesting and a bit harder and now we are on lap six as you can see there's no one in front of me because everyone now is in the pits and so they came in two laps later so lap six we do extend the track a bit uh, but now we're up into seventh on lap seven uh, coming around the corner we do have Ricardo in front of us on the end of this lap, on, on the end of lap 7, more cars are coming into the pit, so these cars seem to be doing a longer stint than us, and we are one of the cars that have pitted early. Uh, lap 8 now, we're catching up to Ricardo, and this might be the, uh, the point that we do overtake Ricardo. And we're coming into the corner, and we're trying to look if we can do anything. He is starting to miss a few corners, and I believe he's fuel has been starting to run on rich a lot and I'm sorry if you can hear a dog um, we do sort of almost miss that corner completely but we have caught up to Ricardo because of that and I'm just trying everything as fast as I can go through corners and now we have caught up to Ricardo looking to see if we can get DRS and we do get DRS as we come around the corner um, after the straight finish line sorry or the start finish line. Now we have DRS uh, around this corner and we are going to use it but I'm, I decided to back out of overtaking him here simply because we need DRS and we can get on the straight. So we just wait around here and Vettel sets the fastest lap of the race. We set it here, DRS and as you can see Ricardo is squeezing us. He is not leaving any room for us whatsoever. So we get the job done on Ricardo. We're up into fourth on lap nine and I'm sorry if my voice or something is not great. Um, I do have a sore throat. But up into ninth, or up into fourth on lap nine. Lap seven, we're now catching up to Sergio Perez, who Carlos Sainz, I'm not sure where he went, but he, I think he might be second. Uh, yeah, he's probably second, but Sergio Perez, uh, another driver we haven't seen on the podium in a while. Up into third. Uh, DRS had a bit of issues because my finger was still leaning on the brake, so. DRS wouldn't activate, but now we are looking on Perez. Can we get it done on the exit? Ricardo is right behind us, mind you. And so here we are with Sergio Perez. We're going to start to stay in his slipstream. We're looking down. We're going to think of a dive, a dive bomb, but we're not going to do it. We're going to come around the corner, and I think we get it done here. No, we don't. We're just going to we're just going to watch and see where we can get it done, where we can catch up. 
and it's in the corners that we are catching up to Perez. As you can see, we are catching him very fast. We're looking at another dive bomb, but I decided to just wait because we are so close. If we're catching him in this fa this fast in the corners, that I can just do it anyway. And as we go right here, probably a corner you don't actually overtake in, but we get it done. We're up into third on lap seven. Coming on to lap 16, that nothing major happened. We just were in the middle of nowhere. But now we've decided we finally caught up to Carlos Sainz on the final lap. And this is the lap we have to get to overtake Sainz. I am pushing as much as we can. We are starting to run out of fuel. And as normal, I did set it to an extra kilo. So I can simply do this. I can simply run rich uh, revs longer. So here we are. Final lap. I uh, believe that is... I'm not sure how far away we are from Sainz. We're going to find out at the end of the first sector and we are or maybe the second sector sorry we're gonna find out I think we were two seconds behind according to the first sector time but we're still catching up to him Rosberg is now in fourth so out of nowhere a Mercedes just caught up to us and we're just trying to do and the fuel lights on we are trying to see if we can keep this car in rich all the way to the finish line without running out of fuel I have, I'm not sure what's happening we are two seconds behind and two seconds in front of Rosberg so we got a, a buffer of two seconds to just do overtaking or defending and at this stage it is a bit too late if we had maybe one to two more laps we would have won but Valtteri Bottas is our race winner we might see more of him in the actual F1 season being the race winner but here we come across the line third place still great for a podium we haven't done that in a little while so third place is great. It's going to help us on the Drivers Championship. I'm hoping to get the next video out tomorrow. I cannot promise that. I'm, it'll definitely be out by Sunday. I can tell you that. So we're going to have two F1 videos in one week. And Valtteri Bottas, our race winner, he's now with Mercedes. So expect a lot more of race wins for him in the season. Uh, we've come in third and Carlos Sainz in second. So it's great for the Red Bull and Toro Rosso guys to get a race win or a uh, podium, sorry, in Germany. So there we are, up on the podium. Great race. It was enjoyable for the for a dry race. Um, next race is going to be very interesting. I cannot remember where it is. I think we're heading to Spa. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's Spa because I really will enjoy that race. But there we go. Third place, and let's see what that does in terms of the drivers championship and constructors championship so here we have it the race results we're up into third um in terms of the standings we're in fourth still with one point behind rossberg dan ricardo is very close to lewis hamilton but we're still second in the constructors championship and i hope you guys have enjoyed that it's been a amazing race. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.